like I said, if you try cutting your hair at home and you've never done it before, you don't really know what you're doing or you're just nervous, cut longer than you think you need to. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I discovered the most amazing hair hack today and I really, really want to share it with you all. Uh, first of all, I just want to upfront credit the person that showed this to me, which is uh, Cha Hong. I'm probably pronouncing her name incorrectly. She is a Korean hairstylist. She has her own YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. Go check her out. I will link the video that I'm referencing in the description box below. Go run over and watch that video instead of this one. Really, I just wanna share that video with you guys. It, I, not to be dramatic, but I feel like it changed my life today watching this video. So, I did it this morning. What it, what it is that I did is that I cut my hair so that it fixed the issue with where you put your hair up and it looks like it you, you're kind of balding right here. I think a lot of, or a majority of us have that issue with our hairline. And this woman, I don't wanna keep mispronouncing her name, but her again, her channel's in the description box below and full, full credit to her, I mean, it's amazing. She her videos, she just makes it easy to understand, easy to follow so you can actually do these hair cutting tricks at home yourself. I've been cutting my hair for a long time on my own, so I felt a little more confident than maybe somebody who's never cut their own hair would, but I keep digressing, I feel. So, what I did is so you know, like I said, a lot of people when they pull their hair up it looks like they have like kind of a bald spot right here right and you can see that it's pretty much solved and in the United States in America the solution has been to use makeup there are makeup products on the market for our hairline where we fill it in and I have seen those and I've kind of thought about getting those for myself but I never really did I just never really seemed like it's something that I would get into so I never did but this is a way to fix that with your own hair by cutting your hair so that it falls in a way where it covers that bald part up. So I guess I'll, I might take my hair down. It's kind of not really in the best shape right now, but um, okay, so what you do is what okay what this woman said to do she said that everyone almost everyone has what's called an m line to our face so it's the m shape that comes down like this and where we have this issue with thinner hair right here and now that i'm really pulling it you can see that i do have that issue it's a lot worse but it was a lot worse before i did this little trick and so what you do and i really regret not filming this because i just didn't think much of it. I thought, oh, I'm just going to kind of ruin that part of my hair and it's going to grow back and this isn't going to work for me, but it totally works. It's works. Like I said, it's life changing. So you pull your hair over from where the M line starts and then you pull hair down, I'll get a comb, and then you pull hair down all the little baby hairs from the M line and now you're just going to start to see where I cut it. And then a little too much came down that stuff I didn't cut, but I could have. You can actually kind of see that I could actually make it a little bit more perfect because you want to get that line right there. So maybe I should have cut that part too. And then from there, you also want to take about a millimeter, she said, of hair from right here. And so my, my part's not perfect but generally that's what it is. Go watch her video for the perfect tutorial. And then you take it over this way. And I cut mine a little bit longer than she instructed just in case you always, if you're gonna cut your hair at home, always cut longer than you think because you could mess it up or it could bounce up and be a lot shorter than you think. Always start by cutting longer than you think you want it. And so you pull your hair like this. And so she said to cut at the brow right here or at the corner of your brow and cut there and kind of use your thumbnail and kind of cut around your thumbnail. And so I did that and it looks silly. <laughs> and then you're gonna have a little bit of a blunt edge right here. And she talks about how you can go in and thin it out with the scissors. Yeah, I need to clean up that um, this piece right here. And at first I saw this, right? And I was like, oh my goodness, what have I done? But when you sweep it back, it falls so perfectly. And it falls completely 
in line so that uh, I don't feel when I, it was bad on me. When I would pull my hair up like this, always super self-conscious about the little patches that looked bald right here. And I just, I would try to, you know, pull little pieces of hair down to try to hide it and all of that. This is just gray and that's making that look bald right now because it's gray and lighter. But this is amazing. It looks so much better. She also has a video on how to cut kind of the rest of your face, um, your face, <laughs> don't cut your face, <laughs> cut the rest of your hair like around your face to help frame it. And I also followed that tutorial and I will link that video in the description box below. Honestly, I think this woman is going to change my life. I think she's going to change my at home hair cutting game because I just, I felt so much more confident. It's hot right now and I've been wearing my hair like this pretty much every single day and it's, it's getting old, but every time I take my hair down, I'm six months pregnant and I just wanna die of heat stroke. I am so excited to explore more of her videos. I subscribed, I'm gonna just binge her stuff and hopefully have like the haircut of my dreams over the next week. I'll just try little things. So yeah, go check her out. She's amazing. I really am so excited to share this and I just think the world should know about her and her videos. She says really positive things. Like at the end she said, I don't know what the literal translation is. It's in Korean, there are subtitles, but in the subtitles, in the English subtitles, one of the things she said at the end was, go make good memories, which I thought was just so sweet. And then when she talks about cutting your hair, she talks about how everyone has a beautiful face shape. We just have to work with it. Um, work with the unique face shape in order to bring out and enhance that beauty. Like it's just, just so pleasant and positive to watch. I'm really excited about discovering her channel and I couldn't be happier about the results from this. Like, look at that from like, it, when I would put my hair up in a bun every time, I would get so self-conscious and it doesn't even, it doesn't even look like I have a bald spot at all anymore. It's just, it's not there. I mean, this, of course, if you pull it down, it looks a little ridiculous, <laughs> but you would never know. And why would I pull that down and do that? Like, it just looks, it's like gone. It's gone. So that is the video. Go watch her, go watch her channel, this full, credit to her. I uh, I just wanted to give her ultimate shout out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you try it. Like I said, if you try cutting your hair at home and you've never done it before, you don't really know what you're doing or you're just nervous, cut longer than you think you need to. Like give yourself two inches and then you can cut more. You can never cut less. You can never uncut, but you can cut more. So, okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you give it a thumbs up. If so, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Leave a comment in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day to echo this woman. Go and make good memories. Okay, love you. Talk to you later. Bye.